James 2.10 through 13. For whosoever keeps the law as a whole, but stumbles and offends it in one single instance, has become guilty of breaking all of it. So what it's saying is if we're found guilty in one part of the law, we're found guilty against God no matter what else we keep. It don't matter if we keep, and this is why we don't live by the law. But he's pointing out this to people who are holding some, themselves accountable to the law and saying they're okay. What he's saying is, yeah, okay, you're keeping all these laws, but if you are make, breaking one of them, then it don't matter, you're guilty of all the punishments that the law brings. This is why we keep, don't live by the law, because we can't. We are found guilty by the law, which shows, from the New Testament, we see that the law showed that need for a Savior, need for grace, and that came through Jesus. And this is what James is telling him. That James is telling him, you're holding people to a standard they can't live by, and this is the whole reason why Christ came to die, because people can't live by it. This is, he is not at all saying we shouldn't strive to live by God's law. He's just saying we're going to be found guilty in it. For he who said you shall not commit adultery also said you shall not kill. If you commit adultery but do kill, you become guilty of transgression the whole law. Uh, to God, sin is sin. All sins, separation from God. It don't matter what it is. So committing adultery is just as bad as committing murder. Both of them separate you from God. Both of them were punishable by death under the law. So it wasn't really no distinction. Although for us people, we see levels of sin it's all the same to God. And if you have sin, you have sin. If you are living for sin, then you're not living for God. No matter what sin is controlling your life, if it's not Jesus, then we have a lot. We have to be submissive to Him. So speak and so act as people should who are to be judged under the law of liberty. The moral instruction given by Christ, especially about love. So what he's saying is, because these people are holding the legalism, they're holding the fall on the law. They're, and oftentimes when we get to a point where we're being following legalism, the issue of love is cast out. The, so it's because there's no room for grace. If somebody messes up under idea of legalism you beat them down but the idea of love you help pick them up so they can stand because they fail and this is what this church James was talking to he was addressing because the people were at the point where they were so standard on the law that when people messed up they just cast them away rather than show them love which is the whole reason why Jesus came to renew us with the relationship with God and these people ain't willing to do that, and James is correcting them. We as Christians need to, this isn't saying we need to be soft and let people do what they want. It's saying that we need to stand, but we also need to help them stand. If they're not willing to get up and serve Christ, then we wait till they get up. But sometimes. They're, we're all guilty of breaking God's law. So, it's just are we willing to strive to serve Him? And if they are, then we should show love and not point fingers. For to Him who was has shown no mercy, the judgment will be Merciless, but mercy full of glad confidence exalts victorious over judgment. So what he's saying is, um, Jesus mentions in the gospel, um, 
What measure we judge others by is the measure we'll be judged by. And this is what James is referencing. He's saying the standard we hold others to is what we're going to be held accountable to. So if we're showing a merciless way towards others, it shows we're not right with God. Because if for us to have God's love and have that peace with God, we just naturally show it to others in some way. That doesn't mean we struggle at times to show it. It just you know, it should come out. And the closer we get to Him, the more and more it should be just natural. But to reject that means we reject Him. And to not have mercy for others shows that we haven't received His mercy. And then one day when we get on Judgment Day, we'll have to, that's how He'll account for the things we've done. We just need to, we need to help each other in the right direction, but when somebody's going the way they shouldn't, we should show them out of love rather than judgment. And it's a very hard thing to do, but that's, the balance we have to have as Christians to help each other.